When you think of regions known for their wines, places like Napa, California or Bordeaux, France come to mind. While Maryland isn't quite at that level, our reputation for locally produced wine is growing. Thanks to favorable legislation and the rise of the buy local movement, the number of wineries in our state has increased from 34 in 2010 to over 100 in 2020. Here in Kent County, I'm visiting Crow Vineyards and Winery, where the last of this year's harvest is going on. Now, somewhere back there in all those vines, they're bringing in the last of the Cabernet Franc. You know, all over Maryland, new vineyards and wineries are popping up like crazy, including here on the Eastern Shore. Now, although the Crow family planted this vineyard in 2010, it doesn't mean they're new to farming. The farm has been in my husband's family. This has gone on three generations. It was a dairy farm. He sold the dairy herd and he bought an insurance company. And then he met me 13 years ago and brought me out to the farm. And I was like, oh, I just love this. And he said, well, let's do something with the farm. After attending some seminars on grape growing, the farm's new direction was clear. Judy Crow and her husband Roy planted three and a half acres of Vidal Blanc and Barbera grapes and Crow Vineyard was born. Our son Brandon came back to the farm and joined us and the rest is just history. Started growing more grapes and making wine and busy days around here. Today, Crow Vineyard and Winery is up to 12 and a half acres of grapes. They also raise beef cattle and grain and have a bed and breakfast and tasting room. These on-farm experiences attract visitors all the way from Washington, D.C. up to New York City. People from metropolitan areas are looking for an opportunity to come and be in peace and nature and experience the farm. And that's how we sort of made our niche, is like, we really want you to come visit the farm. Getting Maryland wine to these customers has become much easier in recent years thanks to the Maryland Winery Modernization Act. Passed in 2010, this law permitted wineries to sell wine on site, allowing customers to sample vintages in person or bring bottles home. Once the act changed the legislation, then we were allowed to have tasting rooms. People could sit down now and enjoy the wines, experience the tasting. With new revenue streams, Maryland wineries began looking for ways to attract more visitors. So that really forced Maryland to look at how to improve the quality of the wines. And with the quality of the tasting room experience, quality of wines, it sort of has risen the local acceptance up that people are starting to revere. That's certainly the case with Crow Vineyard. Their wines have found success at statewide, East Coast, and even international wine competitions. The winery has also earned the respect of their local customers, and winemaker Michael Zolo says that's an important part of putting Maryland wine on the map. We just have to be so thankful that the community is supporting us the way they do. Um, we're happy when they come and they taste wines, it, it surprises them, and I think that's what the industry as a whole is trying to accomplish. It's trying to make people aware that we're making great wines in this area. If you'd like to learn more about our wonderful Maryland wines, visit our website at mpt.org farm. We'll give you maps to all the wonderful wineries and the wine trails that are all over Maryland. They're a lot of fun to visit. For The Local Buy, I'm Al Spoiler. Joanne? Thanks, Al. For more information on Maryland wineries, check out mpt.org slash farm. And be sure to enjoy responsibly. Also, don't forget to follow us on social media for show updates and a look behind the scenes.